What is up, peeps? Happy Sunday. It is... I don't even know. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. It is 10 o'clock. And TMZ wants you to know that Kim Kardashian revealed when she knew she wanted to divorce Kanye West. That is my alert from Twitter right now. I, I genuinely don't give a fuck. But, hey. Um, I moved my dresser. I'm continuing, continuously moving my apartment around. So I moved my dresser, which used to sit right here, obviously, this giant gap. Uh, and I moved it over here to the bottom of my bed because I can put this chair, it goes here with my fan on it because I cannot sleep without a fan. I just can't do it. I don't know how to do it. Um, when I'm on vacation, I will turn an air, I will turn the air conditioner on just so I hear the humming. I think that's what I like is the humming noise I need, so. But I'm gonna do that. Oh, I need to take this to work, so I need to put this, not the, the computer back and sit right there. This needs to go to work, and I think I'm gonna give this to the guys. A old neighbor moved out, um, and he just brought it to me. He's like, hey, do you like this? I'm like, sure, yeah. But I'm very technically savvy, so a lot of this I just looked up and put on my phone. But just so you guys get an idea of what kind of music is in here, I'm just like, okay. Like, he got the Molly. It's quite a, I mean, it's a nice, like, collection of, like, CDs and, like, music. But I think, for me, I think I'm just going to take it to work and see if my guys want it. Because some of this, I'm like, I already have this, like, on my phone. He got the Fuji's. Like, what's, what's up? So... We'll see if they want this. Most of this music I have on my on my phone, so I ain't worried about it. Um, What's up, peeps? Happy Monday. Um, I'm in the office, obviously. Um, we had a move-in this morning. Well, we, it wasn't moving from last week, but they just came and got keys today. I have... No. Um... I need to call this resident and let them know that we're gonna have our carpet cleaning company in there. <sighs> this gets so much fun. Yeah. And the guys are on the radio, so. I'm gonna cut this tree later. <laughs> <It'll be electrical. laughs> oh shit. Okay, that's cool. They are in new Alrighty. I need to call them this morning and let them know this. I don't never remember whose number is whose. So we just gonna dial one and get whoever we get. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. Alrighty, peeps. It is June 14th. This week is exciting because it's my mommy's birthday. Um, but I need to, I pulled the report and didn't freaking save it for today. So let's go ahead and pull it. Done up. Come on. Our prices are probably like sky high right now. Like it's not even funny. Yeah, our one bedrooms are 934 for a 10 month lease. And that's just so the lease doesn't end. We don't have any more leases ending in June. Because um, we don't need that right now. <laughs> Got a lot of people moving out next June and next July. So we're going to need to cut that in the butt. Um, am I tripping? Okay, let's make this a PDF. So I'm missing the renovated unit. But I don't see it on our application i see 22 applications oh there it goes <laughs> y'all i'm like i am not that effing crazy but why isn't it pushing yeah there it goes for the 12. so why isn't it doing this there we go i was obviously hitting the wrong button i'm like this is not jumping down to where it should be 
Okay, so we got everything situated. So this person's scheduled to move in. I need to get her done today. Get them situated. I need this, this idiot. So today's gonna be a, of course, a Monday. Hopefully it's gonna be quiet. I need to get my journal out because y'all already know I got my handy dandy water because I'm trying to be better about the water. But I'm going to, oh, well, finally. Okay, I hate this. This computer just like goes to sleep when it wants to. Okay, so I need to do today. My biggest thing is getting renewals out, calling a, we'll have a renewal that's due tomorrow. Um, have a renewal that's due tomorrow. I need to do applications today. Finalize a couple of the move-ins, make sure we have all their items because we have quite a few move-ins this week. Uh, and just want to get days and times that they'll be able to come pick up keys. What else? What else? What else? What else? I need to move. Well, two units. I need to find out because I have a move-in on Saturday. I'm going to see if they can pick up keys on Friday. And then I have a move-in for the 5th, which I need to move to the 8th. But I also need to see when uh, Marlon has all of that scheduled because they move out technically on the 30th of this month and the new person moves in on the 5th but the holiday is messing up things so because some companies are closed on um drafts um some companies are closed the day after the holiday like we our office is closed the day after the holiday just because it's on a sunday and that gives it fair so everybody gets their holiday time kind of deal so yeah um Probably so enough people don't call off because they'll be drunk as shit because the 4th of July is on a Sunday. Um, what the hell was I looking up? Oh, so then the process of changing over our emails. I think they, so they changed over Denitra's email yesterday. And if you guys don't know, I said Denitra works between two of our properties here. So it has all of her emails. It has her name email, the leasing for here, and then the leasing for the other property. So this is fun. I don't know if somebody's coming in, but what? I'm gonna put you guys right here. Uh, good morning, people. Happy Monday. It is June 21st. I know. It's been a minute, y'all. I know y'all got vlogs from August and April, but now we're gonna get caught up because any everything from the last vlog to this vlog, baby, was irrelevant. <laughs> um, your girl was going through it a little bit. Um, just emotionally, mentally, and physically drained. So, yes, that is, that's where I was with everything. So I just like stopped vlogging because I didn't want them to be like dull and you could feel that energy. So I was like, wait till we get back on our game and we're back and we're happy and we're, mm. uh, the one thing that does make me happy is being here at work. So I am here today. I need to get some ice. I have matcha green tea. I got some from Trader Joe's because I don't know for the while my Trader Joe's did not have one at any at all. I was like, or maybe I was just shopping late and they were all being taken. But every time I went, they didn't have it. And I was a little perturbed. So part of me wants to drink it out of this. I just would feel so bougie, but I'm going to rinse this out because it's half flowers in it. Um... It is a one woman show today. Tyler is on vacation. Denitria is, um, of course not here, it's Monday. And it's just another day in the neighborhood. Um, ooh, doesn't that just look, that just looks awesome. But you know what I probably don't have is a damn, oh I do got a, I do got a mother straw. It's in my stuff, it's stuff though. Um, oh, you guys, I'm sure that's my bag. I just got this bag off Etsy. I'll try to link it down below, but it's just like Black Lives Matter, but the Louis Vuitton symbol, which I'm like bougie and for calls. Love it. It currently houses like my computer, my snacks and stuff. I just want to, I just feel a little bougie and on vacation with this. I cannot wait to take this bag and just like, the girl really wants to just like style shit and the pink and yes. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do my shop. That's what I was getting. But I'm gonna put you guys on the charger for a little bit. I'm gonna answer some emails because Tyler's not here, so your girl gotta make it happen. 
this up. Oh, my top is dusty. I haven't used this cup. Um, so yeah, I need to put my purses and bags off my desk because currently there's so much shit on my desk. Um, oh, what's up, peeps? Nothing's changed. I'm still here. <laughs> it is one o'clock on Monday. It's actually been Monday so far. You know, we don't say that word. We don't say that word. I don't care where you work. You just don't say that word. It is a no, no word. Um, but I am here. I am in the process of typing. Well, not, yeah, typing up a lease. So, what is this? Oh. So, type up a lease. This is what I wish I had to try by because then I could just show you guys my screen, um, which is great. But I will show you, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so this is kind of what the lease agreement looks like. So let me go back really quick. I'm gonna put y'all, I'm watching a YouTube video currently. So yeah, I always watch it. I'm always watching something on my phone just because I need that background noise. So this is what a lease agreement said looks like. What the heck is that? And why? Oh, Amazon. Okay. So this is what a lease agreement looks like. You have your steps one, two, three, and four. I'm sorry, this is a little blurry. There it goes. Uh, so I have their move-in date. They're moving in August 16th. Their move-out date is set for August 14th. With my company, we end all of our leases on a Sunday. Um, with anybody, my old property. Hopefully, I'm not covering up the mic this whole time uh with my old company it was the day before of the following year that's just how they do it you know it is what it is so once you have this information in you have what is market they should be paying what they're actually paying which was quoted to them so we do if they apply within 24 hours we lock them into the price that they applied under if they wait they get whatever the price is the day that they apply I'll also break that down if you're new to my channel. So then we go up here to the next button. You hit save, but because I've already did this, I don't have to save again, but you hit save, so it saves those dates. And then you go to the next screen. And then here you have their charges. And then up here, these are not important. These are the charges that are important. So uh, they have rent, which is prorated for 16 days that they'll be living here. We do prorate rent. Then here I have a concession for this account. And I'm gonna put in, this is a PEP, and this is gonna be, let's make sure we spell military right, which we did not, cause I'm a genius. Military, so um, there is a difference between our regular PEP and our military. Our active military, we waive all their fees. Because this is a guarantor, it's just the guarantor's fees that are waived. And then I just go in here and I just hit minus 25, so it credits the account. Oh, <laughs> so then it credits the account, and then I come down here, and if they have pet rent, I would click that button. If they had a non-refundable pet fee, I'd click that, and then they have city inspection, which we have a city inspection fee on most apartment communities, and it's 50 dollars for my particular area this price could definitely be different depending on the area now if you want to check your work which i need to do i'm going to do this they do not have a pet i want to double check they have a pet so once you have this you should have a welcome letter of some sort that you can refer back to to make sure this is the number you got well this is not the number that i got so i can't do math obviously so we about to see something hold on guys so when your numbers don't add up correctly, so I'm gonna show you guys my welcome letter. So my welcome letter says it should be 803, but my lease agreement says it should be 753. So let's see if I just, my system just messed up. Oh no, this is not adding up correctly. Okay. So whatever this box is just not doing something, it's not going, which you do have this issue. This is why you test it because I put 500 in there and this is still the same. So let's see if I unclick this. Uh, yes, I know something's in the queue. So as you see, 
a change when I unclick my concession. Let's go back up, click the concession, go back down, it goes to 803.84. So, if you have this issue, you can't, you put in your charges and then you click your, so you can type your concession, put the number in, just don't click it till after you do your other charges, charges, because then it stops calculating, which that's the first time that's ever happened to me. So, hey, we learned this together. All right. And then once you do that, you hit save up here again, and then you're going to hit next. I'm trying to be super careful not to show the person's name, which, of course, this is going to preview and show their name. So as we scroll down, this is the lease agreement. It has their price that they'll be paying per month. They don't have any pet fees. They got a concession. It's on here. Their um, occupancy permit fee, inspection fee is on here, and then their lease agreement. Well, then I get to this page and I realize that one, yes, they don't have a pet. Two, I didn't put a little check mark in what they would be responsible for. So to do that, I'm going to go back to profile. And on their profile page, they have a key. And I will put in keys, which that's also in the dim dump. That's also in the lease, and I'll show you where that is. It's right above it. But usually if I didn't do the X's, I didn't do the keys. And you should do this ahead of time before you start typing the lease. I just always forget, I'm gonna be honest. Cause I wish it was just, we could just make it a standard rule on our property. I didn't see, Lord, X. I wonder if there's a difference between doing X and C. I don't know, probably. So, then I can go back to the lease and the upside is I can go, it'll jump me right back to preview and finalize. So then I just go back to that one page that I realized that it was wrong. So here is where the twos went in. They get two keys for everything. And then it has the X's there. So for electric, water sewer, and trash. And then just like that, you should, of course, scroll through the whole lease, but literally it's the first five pages that you are actually editing. The rest is like the terms and condition booklet, all that for the lease agreement that we have signed through CRM. So then you just hit uh, finalize and this little box will pop up and you just hit okay. Sorry, this is blurry. So don't try every day, you, you're gonna do something different with me. I can't say it's gonna be in some particular order cause that's just not how this industry is. Um, it's just what it is. So once you hit finalize and save, it will bring you to that. I'm gonna try to scroll up to their price. So that doesn't show. So it brings you to the lease. And of course it starts with their name. I just, again, scrolled up. Then you just hit send signature. And it will send out the lease agreement. It will send a code for them to input. And what will happen is they will log in and sign the lease. And then in about a week, I will go in, see if they have applied see if they've started signing if not i will execute the lease and just put um which pushes it so that they can just log into the system because after a week the code no longer works and instead of sending them out a new code or if one person did sign and other people didn't it locks it and makes it difficult so we do have this little lovely system today is 6 21 i need to go through packages as well because they just dropped off packages so we have this lovely system here and we have people's cool. alrighty so we use which everybody uses something different but for our office just to work a little bit smoother we go into google drive which we have a google a gmail account for our property and we just use the google drive and we have application progress so we have the applicant's name the date they applied the unit they applied for what moving date they put in we go back and correct this as we talk to the rest of, as we talk to the resident of course um what we need to process their application so if they're missing something like this first person they're missing a couple things uh their status the date that we sent the detailed confirmation email i'll show you what that is our welcome letter and then the date we sent the lease so let's go into my email this is all this kind of became an impromptu of me sending emails. He sent back. So, new. 
So y'all know how much I absolutely love. Again, I shouldn't be so comfortable showing in my where I work, but I do a really great job, so I'm not worried. So I save everything into my signature. Again, this is my signatures, honey. It's it's my love. Uh, especially if it's something I send out regularly, like the welcome home, the waitlist welcome home, waitlist unapplied. All these I send out regularly to people when I have like people adding new people to the lease, resident referral-ish things, um, people adding pets to the lease, my nice renter's insurance, I have a mean renter's insurance, my nice is just like, hey, give me a copy. My mean was like, I'm about to terminate your lease. Give me, my, give me what I need. So the detail confirmation is this. I just have it saved under pending application. So that detail is just this. It just says your application is currently pending. I usually send this once I have all the documents and I've literally submitted the um, application to be processed electronically is how we do it. We don't have to do like rental or verifications, any of that, which I need to do one now that I think about it. <laughs> but it just says, hey, I have upon approval, this is what I have. I have the, you said you wanted to move in on this date into this style with or without any laundry, carpet, hardwood, on the first, second, or third floor, you have this many pets or no pets, 12 month lease. And then in here, which I need to change, I need to add is security deposit. If they have one, I'll put an $800 security deposit or whatever the security deposit is. And then the rent they'll be paying per month. So again, this is for people who may have confusion that I told them, hey, if you tour within 24 hours, you get this price, here's the price. Um, and this is also to ensure people that when they do apply within 24 hours and the price changed online. So if I quoted them, you know, 1200, but when they applied online, it was 1400. Well, they get that 1200 price because they apply within their 24 hours. It does help people. Usually it's not that big of a jump, but just as a reference, excuse me. And that is across the board. So if they, if I quoted them a three month lease at $1,700 and then the next day it's 17, you know, 20, they get that even though they're doing a three, four month lease. Again, it just helps people apply faster um because we also give them the price sheet but before i jump to the price sheet and show you that here you go i'm jumping around y'all because this, this is literally how the job works but then at the bottom of it it says is this correct any information that's not correct they will correct it and we will switch addresses we'll move dates if we need to the price will look back at the price and see oh well you didn't apply within 24 hours that's why you didn't get that price that you were quoted uh so jumping into this let me show you guys so you guys understand when i say the pricing changes i don't think we got enough time to sort out all the fights yeah. sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still I'm caught by surprise oh. I thought you'd always be mine oh, yeah, I yeah. guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Baby going down, 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 down yeah. Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought it's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure Just thought I should let you know Yeah, I know, no, it's no more, no 
Alrighty guys, welcome back. Package break. Um, what am I doing? Okay guys, so I was showing you guys, okay, the price sheet. So, for my leasing agents and people who use Yardi or whatever pricing system, if your pricing system does this, I've worked with Entrada, I've worked with Yardi, and I've worked with Appfolio. Yardi has been the most used in my little career here. Um, in my little seven years, I'm almost a seven years. Well, technically, I am. I'm a week away. Seven years. So crazy to think. Um, let's see. Make sure nobody's coming in. Maybe they're coming for a package. Yeah, they're coming for a package. Okay. So let me show you guys this. So pricing here. What you do is you click on this little link here, this little blue note. And what it does is it brings up the apartment and then it brings up per the moving date and the grid, okay? So for anybody who's been wondering why when you quote somebody this and they go on apply, they see this, it's because they changed their move-in date. So if somebody came in today, the best price, what is pulling today is the 944 as you've seen for a 10-month lease. So this is the grid that I would give it to them. So let's say this price was over here for this date. I would give it to them because that's the best price. And that was the price that they'd be quoted for. I rarely go into this grid. How you should be doing it is going into this grid based on their move in date and their lease term. You should be finding out what their exact price is. So if anybody who ever wonders why online it shows something different when you're applying, this is the grid that we see uh, based on your move in date and based on um your lease term the availability does change because of course as you go further into for this particular unit it's a hot commodity right now it's my only one bedroom so the prices are going gradually up as we go into the fall months where usually you see that decrease um in the fall months but with this being the only unit kind of first of um first come first serve kind of deal so people would get this price if they apply within 24 hours, but when they went and applied, let's say tomorrow, they would see this price or any of these prices. And sometimes these are what's changing daily. So if this number changes tomorrow, the rest will follow suit, if that makes sense. So a lot of times what I do is I give this grid to people and how I explain it to them is I go, okay, so this is today's pricing based on the availability. So this unit won't be ready till the 13th. That's why it's only pulling the first available date is the 13th for those who may be wondering. Um, it's how I explain it to residents to put it on my spot or prospects to put it kind of in good terms for me and kind of make it a closing is I inform them that, hey, these are the prices for today. This is what's projected for the price to change over the next couple weeks. So as people see this, they're like, holy crap, like this is what it could be tomorrow. Uh, and you know, by you explaining them that the price is subject to change daily, they're seeing this and going, oh. So I'm like, this could be the price tomorrow or it could be higher than this tomorrow, whatever. Which I'm not lying to them. I'm just pushing it in a way that works better for me is that they think that this price works better. Now I know I'm giving away my figures, so people gonna be like, ooh, now they gonna know. Well, now they gonna know. Uh, <laughs> but that still doesn't stop it because it is very much still true. The price is subject to change. These are the projected prices as we move closer towards that move-in date. Every day is closer to this move-in date. So just tweaking how it works to help benefit me, if that makes sense. And benefit them. They get a cheaper price. I get a move-in. Everybody wins. Uh, so, but this is the grid that I will print out for people and send them with it. Uh, one, because this prints out with a timestamp of the day and the time that I actually gave it to them, which you can always, I always print them out prior to going on the tour. Or if you can't, again, if you have a good team mate or teammates, they will print these out for you. And I never print them out and copy them through the day because I don't ever want them to be copied. I want that timestamp that shows that this person came into it at 11 a.m. and this is what it was. This person came into it at, you know, three o'clock. This is what it is. You know, so they have that 24 hour timestamp. Well, here's the timestamp. What's up, peoples? Happy Tuesday. It is, I don't know, because my watch is somewhere that I don't know where I put it. Oh, it's on the, it's on the uh, couch here. It is, what time is it? It is two, really? 2.26, um, 
it's been a mostly busy paperwork day. It hasn't been really like a busy like work work day. We had one tour earlier. We had one scheduled I think at one, but uh, our availability changed overnight. So they didn't say want it, unfortunately. So of course, they're not gonna tour with us, which is fine. Um, very understandable. My bad, y'all. More of lunch. Uh, I got some pho today. Just, I really had a tasting for it. And the place I regularly go to, they are moving um, to another location, so they don't have the seafood pho. That's the only place I go and get it um, until they move. So I'm like kind of upset about that. So I just got some. What I get? Something pork? Something? Not pork? Beef? Something? I don't even know. I got meat, and it's beef. That's what I know. Um, I just wanted something light today. So that's what I went with for lunch. Uh, Tyler is not here. Demetri is on lunch. So that's just what we doing at this very moment. I am eating lunch and I've clocked out for lunch. But like if somebody walks in, resident, prospect, I just put it all away and do work. That's just me. And then we have the postal lady that's coming in. Our regular guy must be out. Um, but she wasn't too keen on bringing these packages in. She's like, so all the packages come here? I'm like, yeah, all of them. She's like, you sure? I'm like, positive, happens every day. So I was scared to see the pile. But I'm gonna eat and I'll be back in a little bit. Oh, what's up peeps? Happy Wednesday. It is uh, May 23rd. Neha's birthday today. Oh, I text her. So, I'm currently going through my bath and body works order, which I was just smelling the candles. And I'll show you guys what candles I got. I have a package that needs to go back. Um, I always open all my candles. I don't care if I, like, you can smell them in the store. But sometimes if they send you the different packaging, when they change the packaging, they change the keynotes. Ooh, focus, bro. Focus on me, not the packages. Oh, but I'll show you guys what I got. Um, a lot of times, sometimes like in the fall, I'm very anal about the packaging. My spring and summer, I'm not really as, I would rather, well, I got some anal period. So in the spring and summer, I like the pretty nice decorative packaging. In the fall, I really like the, um, it needs to either be solid or I mean it's still solid but I like the it looks fall scent you know like I don't like it when it's like they have all those weird like when they're clear so I always like the solid packaging for my fall scents but in the spring and summer I'm like oh let me see the colors mainly because I mean that's what I need, the pastels. So I'm gonna go through the scents that I have and open them up so you guys can see them. I have Cactus Blossom. Y'all already know this is your girl's favorite freaking candle. Favorite. I, well, I have four of these at home, so I didn't need another one. But I will burn that candle all year round. Just like when Summer Marshmallow was out, burnt that all year round. Don't care. Works. Um. Sunshine Mimosa, this is, oh my God. It's like, it's a clean, but a fruity clean scent. Love it. And somebody's calling.
until likely next year when a resident decides to put in their notice. You're welcome. Bye bye. People talk a lot. <laughs> the, they literally just want to know what we're doing. But I showed you guys all the scents. This is the last one. This is Lakeside Morning. This is definitely more of my like masculine fall scents that I like. So I grabbed it. I did not smell it in store, nor did I see it in store when I went to the Bath and Body Works I went to. Um, I probably would have had to go to one of our bigger malls because I was at, out at our outlet mall, which is great. If you guys don't know, um, Cactus Blossom, Champagne Toast, and Tiki Beach, all time favorite. All time, I don't, mm, I don't, they've changed the keynotes a little over time, but not enough to where like some scents have changed dramatically and kept the same name. And I'm like, this is not the same scent, Bath and Body Works. You got me messed up. But just in case you didn't see, the names, I have Cactus Blossom, Sunshine, Mimosas, Island Margarita, Tiki Beach, Whipped Coffee smells amazing. I have a coffee bean from last year and I can't find that scent again. So I'm gonna have to uh, reach out to Bath Body Works and be like, can we get this? Please, this is, uh, it smells great, but it fell off my shelf. I had a couple of them that fell off my shelf and broke. And that was one of the ones that broke. So I need to transfer the wax and the wax sticks over to a new case. So I'm gonna wait for one of these to burn through, clean it out, and then move it over. Um, this is the only DIY projects I do. Uh, I have, but for 24 bucks, most of these, okay, so I got these for, they were 12 something a piece, 12.25 a piece, cause they were half off. Right now for the semi-annual sale, girl, your girl's putting away money, cause they got old candle sale. Y'all know they gonna do it. <laughs> they did it in the middle of COVID. <laughs> they gonna do it again. <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> well, yeah, it was middle COVID, right? They always do it right after um, Christmas. So, yeah. And now they, and now people are like giving away the dates. So that works. We appreciate those people who are, you know, slipping up on the giving the dates. We like it. Um, versus being like this big special last year. I also have strawberry pound cake, lemon, what is this? lemon cake pop. Champagne toast, and then in my hand, the lakeside, and um, with Kiki Beach Coconut. Both the grapes. So, excited. When I seen this big box, I was like, I did not do that. These were actually gifted to me by my mama because I am a spoiled brat and I'm okay with it. Oh. So, I will take those home. I've been shipping everything here to work because nobody. Is that my home? Yeah, these are all 12, 20, 25, except for Island Margarita was 12.95, Cactus Blossom was 12.95. I don't know why those are higher, but maybe because they're more of a demand. But in total, I'm gonna say Mama spent um, $141 on candles, so. Yeah, it was $123.90. Shipping and handling was $6. And then taxes were $12. So, actually $120 for candles. Whereas, and you can only buy 10 at a time. That's what I hate when Bath and Body Works puts a limit. So, you can only have 32 items total across the board in your cart if you're buying online. If you get candles, when they do a sale, you can only do 10 or 12. They'll put a max on it. So, whoever is part of the IT coding uh, division at Bath and Body Works, homie, do you not like us? But I get it. I definitely get it. Um, so these are 24, I think 50 a piece. Let's see what I should have, let's see what we should have spent. So, and I'm rounding up. So, I think they are the 24.50, obviously, 12.25, genius, times, I got 10 candles. So it should have been $245. Somebody walking in. Nope, just didn't need to eat. Oh look, I'll finally get my slides back. Guess who doesn't have her boot on? I took it off because it was getting on my neck. I put it back on. And put it out. Foot ain't never gonna heal. Mm -hmm. Sad thing is, I said foot ain't never gonna heal. Yes, it is. Why would you say that? Because you don't wear the boot. My brother was just in a boot for 12 weeks and he did the same thing. 
Y'all need where it's permanent. I should clean those five gazos to you. Those are dirty. <laughs> <laughs> I know you didn't care at the time, but like, mm. I need a boot. Let me tell you something. If you had a knee brace, you know that those things you cannot take on and off. I had the actual knee brace where the doctor had to take it off. That thing sucked. And then I had the one where it was like Velcro. I still have that one. That one's very comfy. No, it's not. Cause you know, you can't bend your knee. And sleeping at night was horrible. Horrible. Cause oh, if I that- I definitely don't sleep in the booty. Fuck that. Yeah. Just no. Think about it. They have the, so, this is if you fuck up your so this connects to the knee brace if you fuck up your whole foot. Oh. So yeah. Oh. Cause when I had mine, I twisted my ankle like a dumbass in my, in my knee brace. <laughs> I had to wear a boot with it, and it just hooked up each other, and I had to sleep in both. I was like, oh, this is for the birds. I don't care who made, I don't know who made braces. They are not made for comfort. They are strictly made for what they need to do. I think somebody needs to change that. But we literally have no work to do because. Jesse mm -hmm. Jesse just came. He took the, I had him take the other iPad and keep one. So the then. One that got all the stuff loaded? Both of them got everything loaded. I mean, well, I mean. Oh yeah. So we should, we should have, still have one iPad. I had him take the other one. He wasn't gonna take either one, but. We're getting the card read off on oh, the soda machine. I never thought I'd be excited about stupid shit like that. But here I am. <laughs> when you forget to carry money all the time, you have a debit card, you can't get soda because you ain't got a dollar fifty. Who knew? But they said it's hard to get card readers during COVID. Everything is hard. Like, this one teach America that we need to start making our own shit. <laughs> like they closed down China, ain't nobody getting nothing. No refrigerators, no microwaves, no ovens. We just SOL. But we literally have nothing to do today. I can do attachments, but I've been doing, trying to get down on my prospects with the active follow-ups. Most of them just are getting canceled out as no availability because when they were looking, at the time that they were looking, we didn't have availability. Um, I always put notes in, so if you're canceling out people, make sure you put in notes. Make sure you did as many possible follow-ups as possible so that on your end it looks good. On their end, it's just, it is what it is. Um, so, but a lot of people, it's, we ain't had no availability shit. We would come in every day and we talked to somebody about an apartment and somebody else rented it. So, it is, that's prime leasing. Between leasing and real estate, we ain't gonna have shit. Um, but everybody always needs somewhere to live, so that works. The industry that keeps growing. Um, oh, I put them on notes, I didn't put the numbers on here. Uh, Tyler will be back on Friday. I can't wait to find out what one of these units who moved out, what their charges are, because the unit was discussing. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that on my story. Um, if I remember, I'll try to pop the pictures in here of what that unit looked like. They messed up the hardwood floors, which are plank. Um, the carpet was shot and every wall had drawings on it. But it was clean, I can say that, it was clean. That sounds crazy, but it was. The refrigerator was clean, stove was clean, everything was beautifully wiped down, floor was mopped and vacuumed. It was just dirty and destroyed. That's the sad part, sad part. So, what the hell? I can kind of see out to the pool. Our residents be sitting by the pool just getting fucked up. That's what I want to do all day in the middle of the week. But we are going to probably watch some TV and warm up some food. I have food I brought last night. I have mixed veggies and then I went to Trader Joe's. Well, I went to Trader Joe's and got the mixed veggies. Um, then the frozen food aisle. And then they have this like chicken lime um, chicken. <laughs> Uh, they have the seasoning for you if you want to season something else with it, but um, it's delicious. I just warmed that up. It's already pre-cooked, which I didn't pay attention to when I bought it the first time. And when I opened it, I was like, oh, I can just warm it up. Say less. Uh, so I cooked the veggies and then just cut up the chicken and stuck it in there. The mixed veggies came with like this nasty ass soy sauce. I was like, mm, we ain't putting that on there. So that was fine. I would like to know if the prorated rent is refundable. what this email says. You can't be. 
I'm gonna show y'all. We can't make this shit. You lying. I don't have that email. No, you don't. She said she Cheeky and bookie. Yeah, I do not know. And I get that some people, it's different everywhere, but rent is non refundable. <laughs> Period. It's 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 rent. It the pro rate just means we only charge you for the days that you're here. And you got she got Tinky and Bookie that wanna come they wanna come to her. <laughs> I'm gonna find some food and I I don't Ooh, I can go to Whole Foods. I don't wanna go to Whole Foods. You can do better.